Hey guys, it's Josh Stern and Michael Walters, and um, we're with Keller Williams Real Estate, the Stern team, and we're focused on keeping you guys out in front of the market, especially during these changing times, um, keeping you abreast of, of all things real estate, because ultimately when it comes to buying a home or selling a home um, or investing in a real estate prop, uh, property, we want you to be fully informed so you make a good decision. So um, today we're gonna to talk about the profile of home sellers. So uh, our last session we did on the home buyers, the National Association of Realtors report on the 2019 uh, profile of home buyers. Today we're gonna to talk about uh, the NER uh, research that they did on the 2019 home sellers. A lot of data in here that we're gonna cover. Um, but you remember, <laughs> you remember that I said the typical age of uh, a first time home buyer kind of blew me away. 47, right? 47 years old. Well, this blew me away. The typical age of a first time home seller was 54 years old, or excuse me, 57 years old. Um, I'm starting to get a clear picture of why we have inventory issues right now, Mike, because um, back when I first started selling real estate, people were living in their properties on average three to five years. That number has literally moved up to 10 years. 10 years. So I think what happened is that great recession between 2008 and 2011 really kind of held people back from, you know, buying homes. Sure. As certainly as frequency, uh, frequently. Um, but ultimately, we do have a lot less inventory, and, and that that every metropolitan area is a little bit different, right? So these are all national numbers. We definitely see homes turning more often than every 10 years here uh, along the West Hatch Front, yep. all right? Um, but that, that kind of fact coupled with sellers holding off to sell their home with uh, the COVID-19 um, happening, well, it, here's what it means. It means if you need to sell a house, sell it right yep. now because there's like no inventory on the market and we did our market stats report just a couple of weeks ago and you see how many buyers are out trying to buy property and you just have kind of the seller side that are waiting for the dust to sell, taking longer to sell, moving, you know, when they're older. So like literally you guys, if you need to sell, do it now. And if you don't, don't, but if you do, you're in the driver's seat. Yeah. Well, here's another interesting fact of, you know, just like buyers, 89% of sellers used a real estate agent or a broker to help them. And they used um, a friend or a family about 6% of the time. Well, they, they're bought, bought like a friend or a family's home. That's right, that's 6 right. 6% of the time. Yeah. And here's the interesting thing. When you sell a home, there's like about 180 tasks from start to finish in selling your home. And like we talked about with the buyers, this is not something you want to leave to you know, somebody who's part-time. You want to get a real estate professional. Yeah, right? absolutely. So, absolutely. Um, you know, and then the other piece, too, is that um, we held almost, almost 100%, or nearly 100%, our sell-to-list value, right? And we do that because we have our... Um, you know, strategic uh, starting team. Uh, the whole grand opening process, even yeah. with the safe seller program that we moved into COVID-19, yeah. we're generating multiple offers, which creates that auction-like environment for our sellers. Yeah, yeah. so when, when we're getting them right at list value and the mm -hmm. average industry average is down at 93%, that's nearly 6% more yeah. in the back of our seller's pockets. That's why you want to hire a professional. Yeah, absolutely. And remember, um, we are kind of talking about um, the like the median equity that's being cashed out of a property, yeah. uh, the, the whole home buyer uh, or homeowner net worth versus a renter. Yeah. What I found was that um, the NER reported that the average median equity cashed out of a sale of a property was sixty thousand yeah. dollars. Huge number, Big right? Number. Remember that forty five times the net worth. I don't know any renters right now sitting on sixty k in the bank, okay. and so it's a good. I mean, definitely a good wake up call in terms of home ownership. Um, one thing I, I forgot to mention is that 44% of all sellers actually traded up yeah. um, in, into a bigger home. And, and I would say that's very true for us, maybe even a bigger number, I don't know statistically, but the majority of the, the home sellers we're, we're working with right now, they're taking advantage of interest rates and then buying up. Yep. You know, So um, average homeowner lived in their property for 10 years, but they only made a 20 mile move. Yeah. 
right? So it could be they, they want to be kind of in the same area. This is true for me. I've lived in the Mill Creek area in Salt Lake for years, and I've lived in multiple houses oh, nice. in, in the Mill Creek area because I love the area. But there were differences, like to get a larger home was one of them, to um, move into a better school district also was one of them. And so we just kind of see that playing through. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. It's a lot of numbers to digest um, for sure, but that is kind of officially a wrap. I mean, ultimately, what I want you to do is make sure that you interview a real estate professional when it comes to selling a property. There's, if you call us great, if you don't, that's fine. We can give you a list of questions that you can ask any real estate agent before you make the decision to hire, but ultimately you really do need a professional guide that can help you take advantage of the market of the moment, get your property sold for the most amount of money in the least amount of time with the fewest possible hassles. Yeah, it literally can save you tens of thousands of dollars. Truly. So um, call us, email us, text us. Um, if you know somebody, do the same thing. And uh, thanks for taking the time to watch our NER Home Sellers Report.